Hello and welcome to Crafting with Jane. And um, today, very exciting, we're doing some, um, oh, I'm going to do a project with the new Indigo Blue. This is the, the, the box set that arrived. It's a magazine and all sorts, so, so many. Um, what's there, 187 elements to get you crafting. Loads and loads and loads of things and um, if you look back on the last video if you missed it you'll see all about it. So I've picked one of the papers because I really love the texture of that and I love the colour. That's just a little scrap bit that, that's off from there. Um, I was going to use that but I'm not because that's the size that I'm going to use and um, I might have to cut it down a bit just thinking about it because if I'm going to use no I'll use something else as, as the back of it so I've got we've got these lovely stencils just love these stencils and um, so I thought that we would work with a bit of stenciling to start off with just want to take this out of here because it's just attached to the um sheet and it's got a little they attach things with like a lot of places with these little sticky strips which are okay but you need to try and be able to pull them off and i'm hoping that i can just pull it off or it's probably going to just stick on there and not come off at all have a little look and see if i can get it off of here um if not, I'll use some acetate, so um, it's not acetate, um, light nail varnish remover, acetone, and that will work. So I'm going to use it that way up so that I don't have it in there. And I thought I would put, I love that, I like the idea of these bubbles. I think that they're going to be quite fun. So, oh, look, there's one that's missed its little, little um, cutting out on there. Let's just take that out. And see as it went through because it's a tiny one it's just missed its little that one as well it's cut out but it's just got in there I love these little sort of pieces on there so I think I might do that right down the center um, and I'm going to do it in a mustard color I think I think that that will probably work so I've got my sponge daubers let's find a Okay, that's a mustardy colour, isn't it? Um, which is a yellow, which is... Oh, open it up. Um, so I think that that will work. Let me find a yellow sponge dauber. Have I got a yellow one? Yes, I've got a few yellow ones here, haven't I? Right, so let's have a go at doing this. And as I say, I think I'm going to do it sort of down... No, I'm going to do it down this right-hand side because I'm doing some other things down the left-hand side. So let's put that there and let's just have a look and see how these are going to be. It might not be dark enough. It might be. We'll just have to see. I think it'll work quite nicely, actually. So let's... I've always liked using sponge daubers on... Um, stencils because particularly for using inks to give your um, colours because it's very easy to then not go into the other side um, if you're using sort of paints and things or um, texture paste and stuff you need to be a little bit more careful and um, I will be using those sorts of things at a later stage but I thought just for this and I think it's going to work beautifully I just fancied using the whole of this stencil just down here that a gives me an idea on the color but also will work hopefully really rather well so let's just make sure we've got that all on there it's gonna lift it up oh yes now that's nice that's nice not not too dark but I don't think I want it too dark. I think I just want it sort of as a, um, just a bit that looks. Then I need to go and wash that out. Um, but because it's ink, it's not going to be too bad. If it was acrylics or something, I would need to wash it out immediately. 
So I quite like that. That's just given a little bit of extra texture on there. And I've now got this um, trellis stamp. So if I show you it on here, these are all the lovely stamps. And it's this beautiful trellis. And it's got a bit sort of, sort of um, uh, what do you call it, sort of grungy look to it. But I think that that will look lovely. So I fancied having the trellis coming down and because these are I don't think I want to do it in black I want to do it in probably a brown let's have a look and see what browns I've got um, that's going to be a nice brown I think so that's a, um, an old brown that I've got but I think that that sort of colour is probably going to be quite nice so let's just ink this up Now, I don't know how well it's going to come out first time because I haven't done anything to it. And because it's quite long, I'm going to do it on this side. I'm just going to put it slap bang in the centre. Let's see how that's going to look. Oh, nice. Nice. I like that. I want to try and bring it down. So I'm going to try and join these pieces up here. Might not be perfect. Oh, look, there, there we go. That was all right, wasn't it? And I'm going to try and join these pieces up on here. So let's just give a little bit of ink on here. And try and get it. It's got to come in on one like that. That's fine. Look at that. So you can extend it down, which is rather nice. So I've got the trellis sort of on that side. That on that side. I think I'm going to have a little bit of trellis. Not a lot, but just down on this very edge part like that and then I'm just going to put this down like that that's nice that that it needed that piece on there to just balance it off a bit so that's going to work beautifully let's take my cotton cloth and give my stamp a nice little clean up I've discovered microfiber cloths and things are brilliant, but a good old fashioned cotton cloth works absolutely brilliantly and and clean stamps so that there's literally nothing on them. Um, now, as I said, I've cut out some lovely little flowers um, and that was from this little one here. So all I've done is I've literally just stamped a whole pile of them in black and then coloured them in because I wanted something that was quite bright. Um, and that's where I thought that I would add a bit of colour inside these, um, these trellis parts so that it's almost a bit sort of abstract. And I fancy doing, we'll have, this is watercolour. Um, so I've got a pink blossom um a slightly darker pink do i want a slightly darker pink probably um which is begonia and then i think i'll have a yellow but i'll have a, a darker yellow so i'll have this one which is like um sunflower Okay, so I am just going to just randomly colour a few of these in because I think by just colouring them in and I'm not doing it overly precisely but I think it will just add a bit of colour in on here like that. So that's the yellow. Um, I want the bright pink. I don't know whether it's that bright. Oh, here we go. That's what I was looking for. This is really rose pink. Very, very um, vibrant pink, but I quite like that. So I'm going to take one. Um, let's just take it there. Oh, I've got to be a little bit more precise with this because it shows up a bit more. So take it to the top. down there and 
down off there. That needs to come straighter, doesn't it? So it comes down into a point. Maybe one down on here. And we'll have one across here. So I quite like, even though it, it's trellis, it's quite nice to just give it a bit of an abstracty background. Because I think that that will work quite well. So that's that bright pink. Then I'm going to take, this is the darker pink. Let's try the darker pink in there. Let's see how that comes out. Let's take one there. Still quite pink looking, even though it's darker. So I'm not going to do too many of those because otherwise it'll look too pink. I don't want it to look too pink. So that's on there. Um, now I've got, this is sort of a fleshy colour, jasmine. Um, so I think that that's more of a sort of a brown. Is that more of a brown colour? Yes, that works nicely. So I'm just going to add a few of those in. Take one up on here. Uh, uh, one down on there. And these are easier because I don't have to worry about them being in um, as precise. Do one up on here. Maybe up there. So I think that that sort of balanced it okay. Um, I do fancy doing something else in there. I've got some sort of dark purples, but they are quite dark. And I don't want them to be overly dark, but we'll try one, I think. Um, says me, I'm going to do it right in the centre here. Oh, that's okay, actually. So they look like little jewels coming through. Um, let's have one in. Oh, my goodness, you can hear a plane going over. Very loud plane. Don't get many planes about here. It was obviously maybe a low plane. That's going to be a nice one down on there. Take it up to the top. And shall we take balance, balance, balance? We'll have one up here, I think. Down to here. I've got the door open and now I've got an uh, ambulance or fire brigade going round. I live sort of near Heathland and stuff, and with this very warm weather, we've had quite a few um, forest fires or heath fires, which um, the fire brigade get out to very quickly, thankfully, and uh, make sure that they're dealt with so that they don't escalate too much because there's lots of nesting birds and things at this time of year. So it is um, one of those things you want it to be very um, contained. Okay, so I think that is, it's almost like you need to just add a few more. I'm going to add a few more of these yellow. The yellow and the um, that really nice sort of beige. I'm going to just add some more of those in because I quite like those. And they work quite well with the colours. So I'm just sort of bringing some of these in. Let's take one up in on here. Another yellow down in on there. That's getting better. And then I'm going to take that beigey one as well. Because I like that. That gives a nice sort of contrast to it. And then I can just... Get some more in. Just sort of dot them. I'm trying to keep it fairly random, but it's quite difficult when, you, when you're saying, I'm going to make this random, and you know what it's like. You start doing it, and it, it becomes more, more and more uniform as you work on it. But I want to have more of these sort of colours coming through because they work so well together. Um, so I'm just... As you can see, just I don't want them exactly one after the other, but I think working it like that, that I think is better. That's just given a bit of extra on there, which I think is lovely. Um, 
so I now have my flowers and um, as I say all I've done is just sort of watercolor them and, and cut them out and I've just added a little bit of Posca pen on there which just gives a little bit of a highlight so I thought I would just pop these down and probably just put them in a colour tone because that's quite nice they're all sort of matching in together quite nicely I like these sort of bright tones and colours on there I'm just sort of bending them out a little bit because I want the the colours to come sort of quite nicely I don't know whether I've got I'm probably putting them a bit too close together because they're not um, they don't need to be that close together I don't think Put that on there this one in like that on the bottom I think that that will work like that so let's get some um, some glue and we can start sticking those down so I think that that will work quite nicely I need to have some let's see if I've got I need to cut a piece of black card for this so this was um, let me just get my, have I got my, yes, there's my trimmer. I need to just cut this. So this is going to be, obviously cut a bit out of there. So this is going to be um, five and three quarters. Whoops, stuck that underneath. That's obviously just a bit done. So five and, can't see on here, can you? No, five and a half, five and three quarters. That's where I want it. Um... So let's take that to there, five and three quarters, and then we'll have it to, um, it was three and three quarters to four. Put that in there, and then I've got some other bits to use for scraps, so I can put that out on there. Let's have a look at that, and then because it's going to look nice on a black background. Now, you know I'm not going to stick it onto the black background yet because I'm very much somebody who wants to cut out as much as I can from my background so I'm not wasting it. But the flowers are going to go down on there, which I think will add a nice bit of colour on there. And you've still got that pretty pattern on there. And I love this paper. It's just made it look beautiful. So let's take these off and I'll take this off for a minute so I can then put it on afterwards. Just make sure I'm in the centre. I think I am. I don't know whether I came up a bit high with that. Um, oh, I've also got, now these were the dies. Now these dies were really quite pretty. Um, and I thought I might, even with the white, I might cut these down and just put them either side. So I'm going to cut this die um, sort of down on the centre of it. Now I'm going to have to take it halfway through this leaf, aren't I? That's fine. So it comes down on there. And then I can put, and I need to put that down first. So I'm going to have one bit down here and one bit down there. So I can then have, I need to bring it across a bit because I want to have some of that showing. So it's going to come across like that because um, I want to have some of the uh, um, the sort of pattern and stuff showing on there. So let's put this in first. So we'll just have a little bit of glue coming around here. This is why I like this glue so much. Um, Tombow is one of these glues that is got such a nice tiny little point on it that you can take it all the way round and you know it's going to come out beautifully. So I'm going to put this just in like that, sort of up on the corner. Just stick it down and then, whoops, stick it to my finger. And then this one can go in on the other side. Now you can see where I didn't, I'm gonna to have to put another blob of glue underneath there. It's where I was holding it and I don't need to have glue necessarily in the centre, but I do need to have it 
up in this little bit there otherwise when I'm holding it it's not going to come so I'm going to have the other bit coming down on here like that so that comes out whoops that way okay um, I need to just add a little bit of glue to the bottom of here because otherwise that's not gonna work very well is it right let's pop that down oh lovely now let's do these flowers so again I like to be fairly random all I'm going to make sure is that my little highlight that I put is at the top because we want all of those to be exactly the same so that's going to go up here and that's going to be the first one right at the top just like that perfect and then let's have the pink one and I can put them on top of each other or underneath each other and I think this time I'm going to put them on top of each other not too close so that one can come down like this and then we'll have the yellow one and we'll put that one ones up like that so that's my first three make sure that I've got my little highlight at the top and we'll put this one down there in the center and then um, I want my yellow one to come in a bit that's pink that's let's have this one which is darker trying to not have the same colours next to each other and I purposefully did them fairly sort of bright because what I didn't want to do was to have too many together so that's actually gone through over that which is fine um, right let's have this one it's a paler one I think some of these might be a little close I'll put that one down there And I want to have my yellow one, I think. We'll have my yellow one coming in on here. And put that down there like that. Um, we've got an orange one next. Um, or do I want a darker one? I think I probably want a darker one, don't I? Let's pop that one in that way like that I want to make sure because I've given quite a long sort of stretch of this so I don't want it to be too um, that's better down like that okay so that's fine with that little leaf coming through there and I just need to put another one in on there so that covers that piece up and I hope I've left, yes I have left some of the stenciling in, but it would be a shame to cover all of that up. And I know that, you know, quite often when we're doing mixed media and stuff, we cover things up and they don't show at all. But I think it's a shame sometimes. I think it's quite nice to just have bits showing here, there and everywhere. So let's take that one just down there and on the bottom. So it just comes through. So we've got all of these flowers. Now I'm just going to turn it over and give it a good rub from this way round because then it's double sided papers as well, which is good. Then it means that it comes down quite nicely. So that can then go in on there like that once I've cut some things out of the back. And all we need is some words on there. Now I have got these lovely new words from um, this box kit and I think I'm going to have something that's black on white on there because that will show the back of the card so what have we got happy with sending love birthday wishes just for you on your special day you're the best congratulations thinking get well soon thanks love love's quite nice today to my friend you've got this beautiful you think of you bloom Bloom is nice, isn't it? Bloom, create, inspire. Oh, I quite like that. A beautiful mindset. Now, I think it's got to be bloom, create. Have we got how many of them have we got? We've got, oh, we've got two pages. 
so if I use all the you know what it's like you get things oh there's another bloom as well um, it's got to be those hasn't it so let's take this one out with bloom and I think I want that these are lovely aren't they how easy is that bloom and then we'll have create take that in there create they stick beautifully as well because they're sticky never ever use things I always stamped my own so this is a real treat and then we'll have inspire down on here like that okay so all i've got to do is to put this onto here which as i say i will but i'm going to cut something out of it because you know what i'm like let's take this green bit out of the way so we can have a look at it um, in more detail look at that now i think that that is really pretty um, lovely background on there if i bring it up closer you can see all of the different colour and detail on there and how pretty and how simple to make a pretty little card like that. Didn't take me very long at all and something that's just pretty and different. I could actually add and I might add some little glittery bits to the centre of each one of those or maybe a few little gems or something. But I think that that looks quite pretty. So thank you so much for watching me. As always, please stay safe and well. Please be kind and look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye bye.